If you thought that the race for the best language model was only between Microsoft, Google and OpenAI, think again. Meta, Facebook's parent company, is back in the game with its new AI language generator named Elama. But wait, Elama isn't just another chatbot that you can talk to. It's a research tool that Meta hopes will help solve some of the biggest problems that plague AI language models today. From them being hard to run on consumer hardware, making constant mistakes, making up lies to bias and toxicity, to their tendency to simply make up information. And here's the kicker. Llama is available to everyone from consumer, researchers and institutions to use free of charge. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what makes El Llama different from other language models, what it can do and how it performs against the competition. So, let's get started. Before we dive into El Llama's features, let's talk about the limitations of previous language models like ChatGPT. As you may know, language models like ChatGPT are extremely powerful, but they also require massive amounts of computing power to run. In fact, the largest version of ChatGPT, GPT-3, requires a supercomputer to run. This means that only large tech companies or research institutions with access to these types of resources can really use them to their full potential. But Elama changes the game. As mentioned earlier, even the largest version of Elama, Llama 65B, can run on a single data center grade, NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPU. This is a huge leap forward in accessibility, as it means that smaller institutions and even individual researchers can now run tests on these systems. So what can Llama do? Well, according to Meta's research paper, the second smallest version of Llama, Llama 13b, performs better than OpenAI's GPT-3 model on most benchmarks, while the largest, Llama 65b, is competitive with the best models, like DeepMind's Chinchilla 70b and Google's Palm 540b. But what sets Llama apart from other language models is its focus on research. El Llama isn't designed to be a chatbot or a personal assistant. Instead, it's a tool for researchers to use in developing and testing new AI language models. As Meta says in their post, El Llama is designed to help researchers advance their work. And that's the key takeaway here. El Llama is a research tool that is accessible to anyone who wants to use it. By democratizing access to powerful language models like El Llama, we can unlock new possibilities for AI language processing and help solve some of the biggest challenges facing the field today. So whether you're an AI researcher, a student, or just someone who's interested in the latest developments in AI, Llama is definitely something to keep an eye on. With its accessible design, powerful capabilities, and focus on research, it's sure to make waves in the world of AI language processing. Setting up a large language model can seem daunting, but with the right tools and guidance, it can be a straightforward process. The first thing you need is a suitable computing platform. For Llama, Meta recommends using an NVIDIA DGA X or an equivalent machine with an equivalent of a NVIDIA V100 GPU. While this is a powerful setup, it's important to note that smaller models can be run on consumer-grade hardware. Once you have your computing platform set up, the next step is to install the necessary software. Meta provides a Docker container that includes all the required software and dependencies. Docker is a popular containerization platform that allows you to run applications in an isolated environment. With the Docker container, you don't have to worry about setting up individual software packages or dependencies. It's a plug and play solution that makes the setup process a lot easier. After you've installed the Docker container, the next step is to download the model. Meta provides the model on their website and you can choose which model you want to download based on your needs. The Llama models range in size from 13 billion parameters to 65 billion parameters, with the larger models requiring more powerful hardware. Once you have downloaded the model, you need to load it into memory. This is done using the Hugging Face Transformers library, which is a popular library for working with large language models. The Transformers library provides a simple interface for loading models and generating text. After the model is loaded into memory, you can start generating text. You can generate text in a variety of ways, 
including providing a prompt and letting the model complete the text or asking the model a question and letting it generate a response. The possibilities are endless, and the more you experiment with the model, the more you will discover what it's capable of. It's important to note that large language models require a lot of computational resources to generate text. The bigger the model, the more powerful the hardware needs to be. This can be a barrier to entry for some researchers and developers, which is why Meta's decision to release Elama under a non-commercial license is so important. It provides access to powerful language models for researchers who may not have access to the resources required to run them. In conclusion, setting up a large language model may seem daunting, but with the right tools and guidance, it can be a straightforward process. By providing a Docker container with all the necessary software and dependencies, Meta has made it easy to get started with Llama. With the Hugging Face Transformers library, you can load the model into memory and start generating text in just a few lines of code. While large language models require powerful hardware, the release of Llama under a non-commercial license provides access to these powerful tools for researchers who may not have access to the resources required to run them. The democratization of large language models is a game changer for the future of artificial intelligence and humanity. For years, access to sophisticated language models has been limited to the big tech companies and their deep pockets. But with the release of Llama, Meta is signaling a shift in the AI landscape towards a more open and inclusive approach. One of the key benefits of democratizing access to language models is that it will enable researchers and innovators to develop AI applications that are more tailored to specific needs and use cases. This will lead to more innovation and creativity in the field, as well as more opportunities for diverse voices and perspectives to be heard. Moreover, democratization of AI can help address some of the major ethical and social concerns associated with AI. Large language models have been criticized for their potential to perpetuate biases and stereotypes, as well as for their ability to spread misinformation and disinformation. By making these models more widely available and transparent, researchers and developers can work to mitigate these risks and develop more responsible and ethical AI. In addition, democratization of large language models could lead to breakthroughs in scientific research and discovery. Language models are incredibly powerful tools for analyzing and synthesizing large amounts of data, and they could be used to make significant advances in fields such as medicine, climate science, and social sciences. Furthermore, making sophisticated language models accessible to a wider audience could also help to level the playing field between different countries and regions in the AI race. For too long, the development of AI has been dominated by a handful of wealthy nations and companies, but democratization could lead to more diversity and competition in the field, with smaller players able to contribute and innovate. At the same time, there are also risks associated with the democratization of large language models. For example, some experts have warned that making these models more widely available could also make it easier for bad actors to create more sophisticated AI-powered cyber attacks and other malicious activities. To address these concerns, it will be important to establish clear guidelines and standards for the responsible use of AI, as well as to invest in robust cybersecurity measures and monitoring systems. Additionally, it will be crucial to ensure that the benefits of democratization are shared equitably and that the development and deployment of AI does not exacerbate existing inequalities and power imbalances. Ultimately, the democratization of large language models has the potential to be a major driver of innovation, creativity and progress in the field of AI, but it will require careful attention and thoughtful planning to ensure that it is done in a responsible and ethical manner and that it benefits all members of society, not just the privileged few. As we move forward into the future of AI, it will be up to all of us to work together to shape the direction of this powerful technology and to ensure that it serves the common good. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has been in the news lately for their push into the AI space with the launch of their new language model, El Llama. Some people may be wondering whether it is controversial or good that Meta is now a big player in the AI field. On the one hand, some may see it as controversial that a company with a track record of data privacy issues and misinformation is now diving deeper into the development of AI. 
there are concerns that the large amounts of data collected by Meta could be used to train AI models that are biased or discriminatory. On the other hand, Meta's entry into the AI space could be seen as a good thing. The company has a vast amount of resources that could be dedicated to developing AI models that are ethical and beneficial for society. They have also shown a willingness to share their research and models with the wider AI community, which could lead to more collaboration and advancements in the field. And furthermore, Meta's focus on democratizing access to their Llama model could be seen as a positive step towards making AI more accessible and inclusive. By providing access to the model to universities, NGOs and industry labs, Meta is giving smaller organizations the opportunity to explore the potential of AI without having to invest in expensive hardware and software. However, there are concerns that the democratization of AI could also lead to the further concentration of power in the hands of a few big tech companies like Meta. As smaller organizations rely on these companies for access to powerful AI models, they could become even more dependent on them, leading to a potential imbalance of power. Additionally, some experts have raised concerns about the potential negative consequences of large language models like Llama, such as the perpetuation of bias and misinformation. There are also ethical concerns around the use of AI models for potentially harmful applications, such as deepfakes and social engineering. Overall, the question of whether or not it is controversial or good that Meta is now a big player in the AI space is a complex one. While there are concerns about the potential negative consequences of Meta's entry into the field, there are also opportunities for collaboration and advancements in the development of ethical and beneficial AI models. It will be important for the wider AI community to closely monitor Meta's actions in the space and hold them accountable for any potential negative consequences. In conclusion, the release of Llama is a huge milestone for the field of artificial intelligence and for Meta as a company. By democratizing access to this powerful tool, Meta is paving the way for greater collaboration and innovation in the AI space. With the help of El Llama, researchers from all backgrounds and institutions can work together to develop more responsible and ethical AI models that can solve some of the world's most pressing problems. The potential impact of this technology cannot be overstated. From healthcare to finance to climate change, Elama and other large language models have the potential to revolutionize the way we approach complex problems and find solutions. And with Meta leading the way in democratizing access to this technology, we can look forward to a more inclusive and collaborative future for AI. So whether you're a seasoned AI researcher or simply someone interested in the future of technology, keep an eye on Meta and the progress they're making with Elama and other AI tools. The possibilities are endless and the future is looking brighter than ever. Thank you so much for continuing your support in our quest to deliver the best future science videos on all of YouTube. See you around next time and take care.